Hey, Sunday. Sunday evening, whoop did he All Dog Network, worldwide, alldognetwork.com. Brought to you by the Wolf Driver and the Wolf Driver's team and support team and all the people that uh, contribute their time and effort into working with these dogs. It's just incredible stuff. And so it's a job that uh, special people have working with the Wolf Driver. Tonight, by request, I'm actually from last night by request, we had two, one for poodles. Hey Miranda, hi, welcome Sunday evening. Ashley, hi, good to see you back. So we, we did a, uh, a soft coated wheat and terrier last night. And then one of the one of you guys out there wanted to say, well, have you done Welsh? And I have not. So we're doing Welsh Terrier tonight. And uh, a little ditty about the Welsh Terrier, Weldon. That's his name, Weldon the Welsh Terrier. A little ditty coming up. It's getting warmed up here. Hi, Mimi. Welsh Terrier tonight, then I think Poodles tomorrow. I gotta get on my cat thing too. We're gonna do cats, I think, every other night. But we'll start the start the week with um, poodles. Cool. Anyway, just to get an idea of who we're talking about tonight, because the way we break the show down, um, the time that we spend with you streaming live here, um, we try to break it up in little sections. You know, some music sections. Play the guitar. Hi, Alicia. Good to see you. Rebecca, hello. It's cool you all together. And break the show up a little bit into a breed specific for the night by request, which was uh, our Welsh our Welsh Terrier tonight. And um, similar looks, you know, Terriers have similar looks to themselves and so forth. We can look at the short-coated <coughs> Wheaton last night compared to these. And you can see the similarities and the differences, you know. It's all cool, the breeds, the close breeds. Hi from Michigan, Natalie. Good to see you. Sally, hi. Tiffany, hi. I don't mean to miss anybody except this real small print. My little eyeballs aren't that great. But it moves quick. I think we got everybody so far. Cool. Thanks for joining us so early in the show. And break it, you know, the breed, talk about the breeds a little bit. <clears throat> then talk about the Huskies, of course, which are kind of our signature deal for the all dog network only because the wolf driver has four huskies and that's what somebody's got to do it you know, it's like who's the president doesn't matter but all the people are just supposedly equal <clears throat> like it's like i said and especially with the dogs you know our love is virtually equal which is uh, unconditional i think hi linda okay got some nice little crowd coming on here so the first thing we do is we approach the breed, and in this case, it's the um, Welsh Terrier. I love the way she says that. Welsh Terrier. Welsh Terrier. Okay, not a lot of enthusiasm, but Welsh Terrier. It's pronunciation, and you know he looks, it looks like a small version of an Airedale Terrier, which I'm not that familiar with any of these because there's so many I just get confused but the head is rectangle in appearance you know and the muzzle is half the length of the head with a light stop so what we start to do is we're going to take a look at uh, these guys okay and get them up on the roster here so there's one there we've seen them before Welsh Terrier they could very well be Weldon for all I know and Tiffany, I have a 16-year-old Siberian Husky. It's similar to the Wolf Drivers. I think uh, Princess is now 14 or something. It's amazing. They're amazing, aren't they? We're t we'll get, we talk about Huskies in just a little bit. We're going to stay with our Wheat and Breed, uh, our Welsh uh, Terrier tonight, just for the breed section. We're looking at pictures of what they look like and uh, their character, the coats. Welsh. Got the Welsh look. Hello, Stacy. 
All right. So, like I was saying, uh, V-shaped ears fold slightly to the side and head forward. The front legs are straight and round. Small feet are like cat-like. Little small feet, not big, like Buster Big Paws. He's got these. Now they're tinier. Back is level, forming a straight line. The tail is customarily docked so that when the dog raises the tail in the air and even at the top of the head, giving a square appearance. And uh, again, docking was became illegal in Europe, most parts, and is illegal. I don't like to talk about that one. Okay, duh. Sorry. The coat is double with a soft undercoat and a wiry, hard, dense outer coat with the bushy eyebrows. The bushy eyebrows. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. My name is Weldon. Oh, he's been out in the snow. He's got a little snow beard. Cute. D Delay. Hi from Texas. Let's try it. Thanks for joining us. There they go. Nice trimmed up. The dog tail doesn't look too dog. I guess it is. They must have long tails before they're docked. Welsh Terrier. Welsh Terrier. So now it's time to listen to Diddy about, uh, about uh, Weldon, the Welsh Terrier. It's Weldon, the Welsh Terrier man. He's a curious and happy boy. We had the Bee Gees do this one. He's plenty of exercise daily. And he likes to have a nice supply of toys. He can swim up in my deep view a hole in your garden. Welsh Terriers, okay. Now, um, the the um, the weight sometimes, you know, it, maximum probably. Uh, actually, you know, twenty twenty pounds average is good. Twenty pounds, and they're about fifteen inches high allowed maximum height. I don't know what that means, allowed. <laughs> they're born a little taller, but that's the way they're bred. And um, some lines are, pro are prone to eye problems and some skin irritations. <clears throat> they're untiring, though. They need to be taken for a daily walk or jogs. So always ready to play with a ball and run and gamble off the leash. And uh, loves the countryside. If you have open countryside, boy, a great place for them to be where... The huskies are out where uh, the wolf driver is because he's out in that open, had yeah, that Welsh terrier running around crazy as fast as he can. I'd like to chase over after everything, anything that moves. He should do some maze chasing. Take caution when letting the dogs off their lead. Well, of course, we know. Life expectancy 10 to 12 years, and average litter size is uh, four to six puppies. Um, they need to have its coat plucked two or three times a year, depending on the. Condition of the coat. It also requires grooming with a brush and a comb and a number of times a week to, you know, can't have those gnats and knots in that kind of hair <clears throat> being wiry as well. Uh, they're shown that it will require great levels of attention to their grooming. So groomers are good for that. Keep shortcut like, uh, I mean, if it was me, this is what mine would look like. I wouldn't have to deal with it. Take the groomer, handle it. Handle it. Thank you very much. Yeah, and do it as often as necessary. Keep them feeling really good. 
Now he was really called the black and tan wired hair terrier back in the old English terrier. Well, it really an old reddish black wire. They had all these old reddish black wired terrier developed in Wales was bred for hunting abilities. And particularly with badger and fox and otter, the dogs would go down into the dens and drive out the prey for the hunter. And would commonly be taken out with packs of hounds. Wow. The breed was first shown in England in 1984. Prescott Lawrence was uh, first brought the breed to America in 1888. Some of the Welsh Terrier's talents include hunting, tracking, watchdog, agility, and performance tricks. That'd be well then. Okay. They're quite something, the Welsh Terrier. Okay. Now, moving on, we're going to go ahead and get it's Sunday night. We don't go too late Sunday because everybody's got Mondays. We want to start talking about this, some things. And uh, we were looking at some of the things that the wolf driver does, which are most fascinating. Uh, <clears throat> uh, some of the adventures are just, uh, you know, it's hard to believe that uh, this is what these guys do. And um, I'd like to go ahead and find something that... Uh, that's kind of interesting, which is basically uh, um, one of his adventures, if I remember correctly. Um, I'd have to find them here, but uh, somebody requested hearing Shenandoah again, which is such a beautiful song. We just played that last night, but they really liked it. But, uh, Maybe later for there. But uh, why are they man's best friend? Uh, you gotta love the dog. Yeah, you gotta love the dog. This is one of my favorites. This is what we all feel right here. It's called the Wolf Play Band, Wolf Driver's own contracted orchestra to do all of his songs and his parodies. This is a parody. down in the shelter and take one home with you is what she's thinking. Wolf driver's advice, if you don't have a, a pooch, start the shelter, help them out. They all need homes desperately. Just the thing to do. Gotta love a dog. talking the other night about the uh, the DNA uh, testing you know for those of you that weren't familiar where you got that done if you chose to do that with your pooch if you never have you want to know exactly the breakdown of what's in their DNA they do a great job they go to they did ours for Buster and we're very pleased to know who he is and where he came from and his breeds and the mixed you know, percentages of other 
breeds, which kind of gives you indications from different some of the things he does, that it comes from there. Yeah, interesting stuff. And that's that wisdompanel.com. It's a division of Mars Candy. Uh, it's called Mars Veterinary. And it's uh, the website wisdompanel.com if you're interested in checking that out. Okay, tonight we have our, our Welsh Terrier, Weldon. You know, we even talk about Weldon. And uh, that there we're just talking about dogs in jungle. Uh, in, the Wolf Driver writes this about in general, about all dogs and all breeds. Gotta love a dog. Pick one up. That was more or less about if you're gonna get one, really love a dog. You know, take one home from the shelter, bring it home with you, go down to the shelter. Okay, we encourage that, you know, rather than buying them from pet stores and all that kind of thing. I mean, we understand when you do, or when when does, when one does, or has to, or whatever the case, it's all good. Okay, so, gotta love a dog. Um... I'm trying to think of another video that y'all enjoyed tonight. Cook it up a little bit on a Sunday night. Um, uh, let's see if we... This thing's called Do the Woofy. And uh, kind of a fun little thing, Do the Woofy. Little dance thing, do the woofy. Might be boogieing with your dog, a little poochie. You put your left paw up and hop, five it with some jive, and ride it all around as you shake it up and down. Bump it with your best friend, is how we blend. A paw shake to make the canine human hand shake. Welsh Terrier. Everybody's doing the woofy here. Interesting. doing the woofy here okay we're gonna take a little break from that and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, gonna check now into the the uh, cat supply and I think we took what we're gonna do is start doing um, our cat shows and we're gonna do cat ditties as long with dog ditties Joanna hello from Cocoa Beach all right Cocoa Beach I lived up in Titusville long ago. Eric, how you doing? And I'm doing good. Very well, thank you. Um, you know, if y'all have any cats, you know, we're doing cat breeds. I think next week we're probably going to start with the number one most popular, the Persian. And we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll just see how that, uh, that gets interesting in any way. You know, there's some cats do strange things as well. Um uh, <laughs> You know, it's not, uh, it's not just the dogs. Now, this may be of interest to some of you who like rock and roll. Fort Tiffany has 14 cats. Okay, well, that could keep me busy for a while. Eric, you got six. It's funny how we have more cats than we have dogs, but, yeah, it's going to rain cats and dogs. Eric, cat, cool. Yeah, we're going to do this. 
Start Monday. You rescue. Cool. Interesting. One cat thinks she's a dog and her name is Duck. <laughs> Joanna says. That's hilarious. It's just amazing when you get inside the minds of your pets, you know, and you, you guys are in the same, you, you know, you can you know what they're thinking, how they are, and what they're, how funny they are, just like people, you know, some people are funny, some people are this way and that, and you get a personality going on with your cats and your dogs, it's hilarious. I know they're brilliant, I've had a bunch of them myself, you know, and just too much fun. Okay, so we did, uh, Wolf Driver decided one day, you know, I got a bunch of rock and roll music in my head using ACDC parodies, like using their songs and making them about the dogs. I so, said, you know, Weird, Weird Al Yankovic has done everybody. I mean, you know, so decided to do a little Fleetwood Mac thing, a whole album's worth of that. All parodies about the dogs with the most of the songs that y'all recognize and some album cuts that you may or may not. And um, the play, the Wolf Play band vocalists uh, are phenomenal on this stuff. And, um, you know, when the Wolf Driver goes out at night, what's he do all night long? What's he want to do all night long is uh, he wants to mush all night long. Mush all night long. That's what they want to do. The Huskies mush all night long.
mushing all night long. And that was uh, the Wolf Driver's lyrics put to the ACD, t uh, I want to rock you all night long, ACDC tune. And uh, this is all listed, the lyrics are listed uh, on wolftunes.com. You can also go to uh, alldognetwork.com where we're going to have this all a new site, Wolf uh, Driver Unleashed, where everything's going to be in one place. Beautiful fur babies, Linda says. Hello, Joanna. Love the rock and roll. It's fun. Yeah, there's a lot more of that stuff where that came from. And uh, we might uh, actually play another one of those by that uh, from that album. I think, uh, I think you'll like that. This one here, and we're just chilling tonight playing some music, you know. Um, we're uh, talking about the uh, Welsh Terrier by special request from last night. We've kind of covered the breed. Uh, we always come back to it before the end of the show. We're going to talk about, I think Monday we're going to do the Persian cat and see what happens with the kitties. I see people are saying, yeah, that's cool. Let's do the cats. You're raining cats and dogs. That's my new slogan. we are raining cats and dogs. We're having fun. So any news, we've got to keep the spirit going here. And, you know, you're just always thinking of how much better you can take care of your, your little pooches and your kitties. Uh, meow driver coming up Monday. That's right. You know, the Wolf Driver channel. That's right. And uh, here's another one of these. Um, you know, I was going to try to find an adventure um, actually here to present uh, some of this material. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, this is, uh, let's look at it. This is about the life, uh, living life doggy style. It's about how they actually uh, dance and stuff and have fun. <laughs>
Yeah, do it doggy style. That's a lot of fun, that one. Just messing around like a little puppet here, being silly with uh, one of our uh, beautiful huskies. You want that shirt? We're still working on that, man. It's taking some time, but it's coming. The videos have not been loading for me due to very hot weather here in the storms, Lynette says. That's a bummer. Have you heard anything about shirts? I'm still, you know, hopefully tomorrow. I mean, I keep putting this off. Week, the week just goes by, but that's a lot of a lot of uh, figuring out. We sent them the files, you know, the digital files, see if I can put this in their computer and make it work. So uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to try to find out something. Matter of fact, I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Put it right here in front of me. Thank you very much for reminding me to have heard something that I have not yet, but we will. We will. Okay. It's just one of those nights, you know, it's a great night. It's a request night. The, the, real quick, we do a boogie music with the wolf driver and the stuff. You don't get a little vibe going on with the fun of the dogs. And we just love them no matter what. You know, we can have serious songs. We can have mellow songs. We can have all kinds of genres of uh, music to go along with what's in the head. And that's what we try to do with all this whoop tune stuff. And there's just so many songs and raps. I mean, there's something for everybody's style of music, old and young, for sure. I mean, there's bebop on here. There's the 50s doo-wop stuff I even played. I mean, there's everything. We've covered, we've tried to not think of something we haven't thought of. And, you know, there's similar R&B stuff, different R&B stuff, just scads of country stuff, rock. So it's just, if the lyrically, though, to listen and understand the prose and the poetry or what have you about the story of the song. Some of them are rather lengthy and clever in a, in a way they're written from the wolf driver. I would say clever only because when you listen to the phrasing and what it means, you know, there's some really good, um, good writing there. I mean, you know, in terms of what the message is, I believe it's, it's fun to listen to. It's not just boring the way he says things. And uh, it is what it is, raw stuff, like listen to anybody else. You know, either you can like it or not care for it. That's okay. It's just real emotions and real thoughts put into music about dogs, basically. So that can't be that difficult to digest, I don't think, if you realize it's about the dogs. And it's the truths. He's a man of truth. So when you're listening to what he says, he's not making up some crazy jive stuff that happens to rhyme which was part of our deal, trying to take all his words and put them into these categories. And with our team of great musicians, um, they were so talented to be able to do some of that um, construction and then perform it. You know, it blows my mind that I was part of it. So I, I feel blessed. It's a different kind of thing. People couldn't laugh. How are you doing? Music. Hey, Linda, good to see you. Debbie understands. Cool, cool. So anyway, let's do, let's do something just, uh, so we can do something a little different here. I'm going to, uh, I'd like to play one from the uh, Fleetwood Mac thing here. Uh, let's see. Well, we just have to. Look under tributes here. There we go. This Wolftoon site, the new site, has been redesigned. Much easier to navigate. Very clean look. Simple. A lot easier to get through to find things that you're looking for. Um, you'll uh, recognize this one. Let's play this one. I'm pretty sure you'll you'll understand this one from Stevie Nicks. And it's a parody. Uh, and get it to play. Uh, bear with me. Uh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Lyrics are right below the videos on Wolf Tunes. It's my dog. 
Technical difficulty here. Let's try that again. It talks out of love, I'm all about the hounds. All about the hounds. We must smell to. Oh, why it's freezing up there. You may see a reflection in the technical snow covered hills as we would drive from town to town. a good one uh, parody so in dogs I love I'm all about the dogs all about the hounds that's Wolf Driver slogan okay so we're gonna call it a night tonight we've had a good night and played some cool stuff I think some parody stuff those are always fun to do was we'll some original material tomorrow night and um, it looks like we're going to have poodles on tomorrow night. Poodles, and we're going to work on see if we can integrate the Persian on the cat side into one show and see how that feels. And then we'll figure out whether we want to do that kind of thing every night, shorter time on each, which is fine. You know, just get to the heart of the matter and have more music and just more fun. Okay, Whoop Diddy signing off right now, you know, and uh, this little tune here is called Jumpin' Jammin'. We're always jumping and jamming here at the Wolf Diddy headquarters of the All Dog Network, Worldwide All Dog Network, and online, hi from Texas, Husky Lover, cool, cool, um, brought to you by the Wolf Driver, 
where you guys are. Check it out, alldognetwork.com. And I'll see you tomorrow night with the Poodle Night. Poodles and Persians. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Keep that water fresh, sleepy out of their eyes, exercised and clean and healthy and licking you. See you.